Hi everyone, this is Swamp Rabbit, and today I am playing Bloons TD6, the daily challenge using no monkey knowledge and Gwendolyn as my hero. So let's begin. I am going to start with the ninja, and I want to place it right here in the center so that its range covers the edge of each of these loops. Okay, I'm going to upgrade this ninja to Ninja Discipline, so 100. Zero, zero. And then I'm going to give it Sharp Shurikens, so 200. Zero, zero. Uh, that'll give it Seeking Shuriken, 201. See, so yeah, I'm going to see if I can save up enough uh, now to buy my hero. Looks like I'll be able to. And I'll place my hero right here in this corner at the start. I'm going to upgrade my ninja just a little bit more. I'm going to uh, buy caltrops for it. And then I'm going to buy double shots. The next thing that I'll purchase will be a sniper. I'm going to place it near the center, but not, not exactly near the ninja. And the reason I'm going to do that is because later on I'm going to add a village. And I'll go ahead and let the sniper be in the range of the village as well. So it can be a little more powerful. I'm going to upgrade the second path. I'll give this uh, faster firing and even faster firing on my sniper.
Okay, I'm going to place Gwendolyn onto strong on his targeting so that it won't miss any of the LUTs to make sure it catches all the LUTs. I'm going to upgrade my sniper to 032. Now on round 40, you can use Gwendolyn's hero, uh, hero ability when the Moab first comes by, and that'll help us do it open faster. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my sniper to 042. I'm going to use my sniper supply drop. Let's see what level my Gwendolyn is. Level eight. Okay, and I'll go ahead and upgrade to Elite Sniper. Okay, I'm going to buy a second sniper. I'll just stick it by the first. I'm going to use it for a bank as well. So I'll upgrade the middle path. And then I'll give it a supply drop. Okay, this one I'm going to go ahead and give it full metal jacket. Just to make it a bit more powerful with its shots. It won't be as fast, but I think that that combination will be a good combination. Okay, now I'm going to upgrade my ninja. I'm going to give it Bloom Jitsu, so 402, and then collect my supply drops. And I am going to place an Alchemist primarily on the Ninja. I'll upgrade it to 4 
zero two. I'm going to go ahead and buy a village. I want to make sure that my alchemist and ninja are in range. Okay, so what I want to do is pull it just out of their range and then expand the radius. Okay, make sure they're both in there. And then I'll give it jungle drums, grow blocker, and radar scanner. Okay, now I'm going to take a glue gunner. I want to place it in range of my tower, or my village. So I want to in range of my village as close to the start as possible. And I'm going to upgrade it on the top path I'm going to use my Gwendolyn Ability 2 to help us step in this BFB. Okay, and if you are just following along for the daily challenge, you have completed the journey. If you are going to complete the unofficial challenge, which goes to round 100, uh, and be extra, come be extra with me, and we'll continue. So we'll just go into free play, and off we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this village to 402. And then the glue gunner, I'll give it bigger globs, glue spatter, and then I'll wait for 22,000 to upgrade it to the balloon solver. I'll upgrade my glue to the balloon solver. Again, again. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and add a second ninja to my little defense in the center. Um, I want to do the, kind of the same thing with the first. I want to make sure that it can see each of the loops try to balance that as evenly as possible and then upgrade it to 402.
Okay, then I'm going to upgrade to Grandmaster Ninja on my very first ninja that I placed, so the one that's the most centered on these three loops. Hi everyone, this is Swamp Rabbit, and today I am playing Bloom's TD6, the daily challenge using no monkey knowledge and Gwendolyn as my hero. So let's begin. I am going to start with the ninja, and I want to place it right here in the center so that its range covers the edge of each of these loops. I'm going to upgrade this ninja to Ninja Discipline, so 100. And then I'm going to give it Sharp Shurikens, so 200. Uh, that'll give it Seeking Shurken, 201. See, I'm going to see if I can save up enough uh, now to buy my hero. Looks like I'll be able to. And I'll place my hero right here in this corner at the start. I'm going to upgrade my ninja just a little bit more. <coughs> I'm going to uh, buy Caltrops for it. And then I'm going to buy Double Shots. The next thing that I'll purchase will be a sniper. I'm going to place it hmm, near the center, but not, not exactly near the ninja. And the reason I'm going to do that is because later on I'm going to add a village. And I'll go ahead and let the sniper be in the range of the village as well. So it can be a little more powerful. I'm going to upgrade the second path. I think it's at round, or at level 11, Gwendolyn gives everyone the ability to pop lead. So I don't want to upgrade my sniper on the top path at this point because I don't think I'm going to need to. Uh, Gwendolyn should be able to take care of any of the lead until that point. So 
So instead, I'll get this at faster firing and even faster firing on my sniper. Okay, I'm going to place Gwendolyn onto strong on its targeting so that it won't miss any of the lights to make sure it catches all the lights. I'm going to upgrade my sniper to 032 